show's been planned for quite a few months now, and um, we've been getting more and more excited. To, to, this is my first time here, so it's, it's thrilling, and the venue is just stunning, so it all comes together really well. My first impression of the city is, is one of um, a beautiful chaos, which um, there's a lot of movement here now, a lot of renaissance, a lot of rebirth, um, some confusion, but that's also charming. And uh, the city is, is a, it's like a heart with lots of different parts that I'd want to explore. And my work has quite a lot of different dimensions to it. Um, and strangely, the colors all come together beautifully in this building. So. But it's part. It's very much down to Vanessa Help, you know, having the vision to drive that through. And you know, so bless you. I've known David for a couple of years now. We did a show last year, and I got more familiar with his work uh, because he has, as as you'll notice, he has very different styles that very much complement each other and intertwine. And uh, we knew we wanted to do a show in Beirut, which eventually. You know, would be his gate into the Middle East, and it was just a question of finding the right material, the right theme, and the right location. So when I was looking for locations, I saw this place, which is absolutely stunning, and the, the contrast of the, the the vintage walls, the distressed walls, with the vibrant colors and dynamic movements of David's work, for me, it just clicked immediately. And it was just a question of, of, of getting those two into the same space. And I think now that it's up and on the walls, we, we both would agree. Yeah, absolutely. But there's a sort of, I've always loved truth to materials and the natural um, art that still exists in drawing and painting. So the walls reflect that beautifully. It's each, each wall has its own pattern, and we've been able to pick that up, I think, quite well in the show. Definitely. It's ne I've never known a show come together where the venue and the work so, so magically transform you know, it's, it's very exciting actually. It is. It, it's, we were hanging it yesterday and it was quite exciting towards the end. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It, just, it just fits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, the duality thing was partly born out of my work on paper, which by the time I met Vanessa, I was just experimenting with, you know, almost sculptural two dimensional pieces. Um, I did a series called Broken Hearts, which have an emotional pull of things that come together being more than the sum of their parts. And I think Vanessa really picked up on that. And so I did a set for the show specifically. There's that strand, which has a duality about it, literally. The drawings always have more than one. There's always another drawing, so they come together as a theme, as a run. The color work here, there's always a series. There's always one, more than one painting, so the group of Mediterranean lights. Um, but I think over and above that, I'm really interested in the duality of things going on in life. You know light dividing, cells dividing, people dividing, and bringing them back together again. So I, I think it's a new theme I'm into. I will be doing more doubles and triple paintings. Um, we were talking about whether we call them diptychs. I actually quite like the word duality, so I think we'll, we'll, we'll be using that more as a theme. So it's, again, it's a theme that's come together quite well for the show in a way. Yeah. Um, and Vanessa saw something in them and, and maybe pushed me towards that, so I experimented more than possibly I would have done with these. I think what, what, what drew me to these works, not only is it something that's refreshingly new that I haven't seen really in the art industry heavily, but more interestingly is that David's background is in, in sculpture, and you can see that these uh, diptychs dualities are very much sculptural works on paper, So, I, and I think you, you'll see this in yeah, I mean, in all my work, there's a sculpture trying to break out, yeah. which is what I find exciting. I was never drawn to painting for the pretty picture or compositional element of it. I always wanted something strong and graphic and powerful. Um, and by bringing two things together, that also solves the compositional problem for me, which, I, you know, obviously with the paintings and the big dance ones do that anyway. So it was thrilling to be able to put the big dance ones up. Oh, yeah. That was the sort of final. These are David's babies, and I was I was very lucky to be able to see them um, about a year and a half ago. And we both had our heart broken when they were just rolled up and waiting to be seen by by the public. And uh, when I saw this space again, the ballroom in Villa Paradiso, the ballroom, much space, I, I immediately thought it has. They have to come out. They have to be yeah. unrolled, they have to be seen, they have to be appreciated. Yeah. So we both got a little bit emotional yesterday when we got them up on the wall and we finally saw them exposed. And we really hope that this show will 
to start, start them. Uh, so watch this space next year. We'll be doing more of those. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. 